You found him? Oh, my lanta. And that was the stunning moment. A Kentucky couple found the body. State police now believe is the I-75 shooting suspect. And a day later, still no exact answer on where that body was found. But there is relief in Laurel County that life can now go back to normal. Our Ian Hardwitt and photojournalist Emma Gafter report from London, Kentucky, now that the search for Joseph Couch has ended. It's just a close-knit and uh, friendly, friendly town. Great town, actually. I feel like the people in our community now can breathe again. This manhunt has now come to a conclusion. 11 days after five people were shot going down Interstate 75, Kentucky State Police have the body of the man they believe is responsible for the tragedy, Joseph Couch. As helicopters comb through the Daniel Boone National Forest, people in Laurel and surrounding counties had to wonder if Couch could be in the woods outside their own homes. Business life, their social life, their personal life, you know, it was taken away from them because of the fear. It's quieter now, and County Judge Executive David Westerfield feels the relief, though he'll feel better once the body found Wednesday is officially identified. Are you going to be able to rest easy until they get that official coroner ID? Yes, I feel that will give the final piece that people can absolutely go back to their normal lives. So uh, a lot of fear's gone. A lot of people take a deep breath, and so they're good to go. Larry Lee is one of those who, from the very beginning, wanted to go back to his routine juggling fatherhood, teaching, and co-owning a bar that's once again alive with familiar faces. Just go full force is what I'm ready for. We're school back, uh, events happening again outdoor because we do a lot of out, outdoor events here in uh, London, Kentucky, and then uh, with Chicken Festival coming up. I hope it just uh, takes a lot of fear out of everybody and just, let's just get back to normal. While Westerfield wants that too, he's comfortable looking back with gratitude for the help that poured into the small community during the search. It just tells me that Kentucky is a pull together state. He just hopes the Commonwealth never needs to pull together for something like this ever again. In Laurel County, Ian Hardwit, WHAS 11, on your side. Kentucky State Police recovered that body last night and sent it to Frankfurt for an autopsy. As of now, we've requested results but have not heard back. Governor Andy Bashir, as you know, made several visits to Laurel County during that search. And today, during his weekly Team Kentucky, he was talking about that DNA testing, saying it's happening right now to confirm the body is Joseph Couch. Uh, I want to thank all of our first responders that rushed to the scene, our dispatchers. I got to talk to, to the dispatchers that took those calls. Um, their work saved a lot of lives and i think it's important that that you know we show that we are not going to live in fear um, these individuals that commit these acts i hope we forget their names as fast as we can uh, and so I'm, I'm i'm glad to bring this to a close bashir said they could have dna results as early as tonight